Liz Zung and today we are going to be making some smoothies, everyone's favorite summer drink. We're actually going to be trying to recreate Jamba Juice's three most popular smoothies and see if we can make it a little healthier and better. All right, so I'm actually gonna need to try to taste them first. Fun fact, Jamba Juice was the first job I ever had at 16, and that was a really fun job for me. We're gonna try the Strawberries Wild and see if it still tastes like what I remember to taste like. Yeah, still tastes the same. Really good, you cannot go wrong with Strawberries Wild. Next favorite for me was always the Caribbean Passion. I almost feel like a long time ago, it was called Citrus Squeeze. It's good, but I don't remember it tasting this way. And finally, Mango A Go Go, which also used to be called Go Mango. I know, I worked there back in the day a really long time ago, so I'm probably dating myself. Mm. This tastes exactly the same. Whoa, super mangoey, super refreshing, delicious. All right, let's see if we can recreate them to taste similar at least. Believe it or not, till this day, I still remember the ingredients for Strawberries Wild by heart. So we start off with some apple juice, and for them, they use like this apple strawberry mixture. I couldn't find it, so I'm just gonna use really good apple juice that's like fresh, Pressed. I feel like that's sweet enough. And we're gonna put about eight ounces in there, which is about a cup. Okay, so I'm actually gonna make it a little bit healthier because the thing about Jamba Juice, even though it tastes amazing and I love it, it tends to be really sugary. So I'm gonna try to cut down the sugar. I am, instead of eight ounces, which is one cup, I'm gonna do four ounces, which is half a cup of apple juice. Fill the rest with water. And then for a really good smoothie, you always want to put the liquid in first. Believe it or not, this recipe requires non-fat frozen yogurt, but let's be honest, like you don't need frozen yogurt in your smoothie. I'm just gonna be using plain old skirt, which this one has 19. Uh, grams of protein. It's basically Greek yogurt. It's I Icelandic skewer, which is a little bit thicker. And for this one, we just use an ice cream scooper. Add two scoops. And since they use vanilla, we're gonna put vanilla extract. Obviously, you can get vanilla yogurt too, but there's extra sugar in there too, so I just don't need it. So now for the fruit part, you basically use equal amounts of frozen bananas and frozen strawberries. So here I have one whole frozen uh, banana. So it's about one cup. This will make it nice and creamy. I love frozen bananas in my smoothies. And then let's measure out the frozen strawberries. I'm basically gonna do two of these little guys. So the final step is that they always add some ice. I don't really think it's necessary, but for old time's sake, let's add some ice. And now we just give it a whirl. Okay, and I just like to blend it for about a minute until it's nice and creamy and mixed in. Woohoo! So let's compare the two. Mine definitely looks a lot more creamy mixed in. Although I do have to say this was ordered about 15 minutes ago, so I'll give it that. It might have thought a little, but regardless, I feel like the consistency here is a lot more smooth. This one seems a little bit more icy. Let's see if it tastes the same. Mmm. Not bad, son. Still got it. They totally taste very similar. The only thing I would say is that Jamba Juices, as I told you before, taste very sweet. So you can definitely tell the sweetness difference when it's drinking them side by side. The fruit flavors here definitely shine through. They also shine through on this one. I know that they use really high quality fruits. Uh, I think I remember it being called IQF, individually quick frozen, so they were always big on that. Um, but again, you can use any kind of frozen fruit. I got mine just from the store, pretty much the same. I would say the only reason why mine doesn't taste as sweet is because I used half the amount of juice that they did. And because they used strawberry apple juice instead of regular apple juice. But honestly, if you wanted to make this at home, it's a no-brainer. All right, let's move on to the Caribbean Passion. 
Now this is the only one that didn't taste familiar to me, but also it's been a while since I've been there. But let's see how we could recreate this. So um, I looked up their ingredient list and it says mango passion juice. I don't have mango passion juice and I couldn't find that, but I did find passion orange guava, which has a little bit more of a tropical Hawaiian theme to it, but this is called Caribbean passion, so hopefully it passes. We're gonna do eight ounces or four ounces of this juice. And then here's a little bit of a kicker. They add orange sherbet in there, which I also don't think ice cream is necessary, so I'm gonna add some orange juice to it. We're just gonna do a quarter of a cup of this orange juice and then the rest with water. Okay, so quarter cup just to get that orangey flavor in there, a little bit more pronounced. And the reason why I'm adding the rest with water is because I want the ratio for the smoothie to come out creamy rather than like just icy. Even though they use orange sherbet, I still think it needs a little bit of creaminess from like a yogurt. Plus this has protein, so it'll kind of just keep us fuller, but I'm gonna do one scoop. Now they also have frozen peaches. I'm gonna do one part of frozen peach to two part frozen strawberries. So just one of these cups and then two of these cups of frozen strawberries. And of course, some ice. You guys think this will come out good? If you're liking what you see so far, go ahead and crush that like button. Looks nice and smoothie-like. So I can already see the difference in color here. Could be because I didn't use the orange sherbet, which gives it a more corally look, but it still looks the same. This compared to the strawberries wild, because we didn't add any frozen bananas, you don't get the same creaminess. I always love adding frozen bananas to my smoothies, but I'm sure this will be good too. Okay, let's give it a try. Does it taste like this? Not at all. <laughs> I don't have passion in mango juice. I feel like the mango juice would have been key here. And if I could do this over, maybe I would put some frozen mangoes in there, but obviously it wasn't in the ingredients, so I should have improvised. For the first time, I do have to say that I was not successful in recreating this. However, it's still a really delicious smoothie. Like, it's not bad. It's just not the Jamba Juice Caribbean Passion. We'll call this the LA Passion. Hot and red with passion and fire. <laughs> All right, our next one, the Mango Agogo. This was delicious as is, but we're gonna try to make it a little less sweet, which, you know, sometimes is this better for you. Half a cup of this Passion Pog juice. If you can find mango juice though, definitely, add it in here because I think it'll really bring out the flavor of the mango. Remember, we're making it less sweet. Add this in. Okay, one scoop of Greek yogurt. All right, so I do have to say that they use pineapple sherbet, which is delicious, but we don't have that. So we're gonna do one part Greek yogurt and good old pineapple chunks. Add that in. Usually for their smoothies, if I remember correctly, they always use two scoops of the like sherbet or non-fat yogurt or ice cream or whatever. But here I'm gonna just use fruit. Their recipe does not have bananas, but I love the creaminess that frozen bananas give. So I'm just gonna add like half a banana in there. This is for texture, not so much for taste. And then because it's called mango a go go, we're gonna add loads of frozen mangoes. I'm adding like almost a whole bowl here, mango chunks. I honestly don't think it needs any ice, so I'm not gonna add ice this time. This is like way more than enough frozen fruit. Looks pretty good. Similar color. This one looks also a little more creamy because I did add the banana in there and just bananas is magic in smoothies. Okay, let's give it a try. 
Both delicious. The mango flavor and sweetness in this one is so much more pronounced. Again, probably because they use mango juice, but also because they have a lot, a lot, a lot more sugar from the pineapple sherbet, their own juice mixture. Since we watered this down a little bit, it's not as sweet, but that's not a bad thing. You definitely taste the mango flavor, like the natural mango flavor from the loads of mango chunks that we added in there. This one is delicious. I really, really, really like this. Another way that you could cheat for the mango flavor is if you were to find mango yogurt, that would be really good. Like mango flavored um, Greek yogurt. Mmm. But this honestly tastes amazing. I tend to like my smoothie somewhere along the side of like thick, creamy, almost like a smoothie bowl texture versus like an icy cold smoothie texture. Comment below, let me know what you like and what you guys thought of these recipes. If you guys have a favorite flavor from Jamba Juice, let me know uh, what it is and maybe I'll recreate it for you so you can make it at home a lot healthier and cheaper. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Crush that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.